How's it going, guys? Good evening. I normally don't make videos this late, but I figured with the breaking news, I need to jump on this right away. So, breaking headlines all across the country. Trump caves on border wall. Democrats win. Nancy Pelosi gives Trump two black eyes, etc., etc., etc. I'm telling you right now that Trump just put the ball in Pelosi's court where she has two seconds to shoot, and they're putting a full court press on her, okay? So, this is the most ingenious thing that Trump could have done. <laughs> what people are failing to realize is Trump did not permanently reopen the government. In fact, if anything, he only made the pressure more significant when it comes to the Democrats actually having to negotiate this topic. Now, Nancy Pelosi said prior to the reopening that she wouldn't give Trump even one dollar for the border wall. Well, I'm telling you right now, Trump is going to get his wall, and he's going to get it one way or another. Either the Democrats are going to come out of this looking like complete lunatics and completely insane as far as not wanting to put their country over their own um, issues, their own goals, their lofty expectations for what's going to happen. Because I'm telling you right now, Trump said straight up in the beginning of that speech that he has an option, but he doesn't want to use it because he thinks there's a solution. I'm telling you right now that if Nancy Pelosi does not give Donald Trump his wall, <laughs> Democrats have absolutely no chance in 2020. And if Nancy Pelosi does give Trump his wall, the Democrats have absolutely no chance in 2020. What Trump just did was put the Democrats into a corner, into a corner that there's no getting out of. And what happens when you put a trapped rabid animal into a corner? They go absolutely crazy. If you think what was going on with the Covington and the school and everything as far as the threats on Donald Trump's life and the tweets about Pelosi becoming president coming from all sorts of people, Hillary Clinton putting pictures up of the only two presidents that have been assassinated on dollar bills and currency and stuff like this, it's only going to get more dramatic from here on in, guys, because I'm telling you right now that Democrats are realizing real quick that they have no alternative but the cave to Trump. There's no way around this, period, the end. Now, for everybody that says that they're MAGA, says that they're a supporter of Donald Trump, says they want to make America great again, that believes in border security, that believes in the Constitution. If you turn your back and run away from your laurels and your beliefs right now, I'm telling you, you have no place in my mind when it comes to respect. You need to open your eyes and realize that he just made one of the most brilliant moves ever. And if you don't realize what's going on, I don't know what to tell you. I absolutely do not know what to tell you. You have to consider what Donald Trump has been through up until this point. Now, he promised the wall from day one. If he doesn't build it, he doesn't get reelected. Okay? By keeping the government shut down, his popularity decreases day by day by day. However, just by reopening the government, he's going to get two or three points in his polls. And on top of that, the longer we go without reaching a deal on border security, the worse the Democrats look. Now, what happens after three weeks when Nancy Pelosi doesn't cave and give Trump what he wants? Now, Trump already offered them DACA. He offered them TPS, Temporary Protective Status. He offered them everything that they wanted. And then he comes out of nowhere with the most brilliant plan ever. And he decides to reopen the government, giving the American people exactly what they want. What he did is a classic strategy. I mean, my mom used to pull this on me all the time. All the time. So what you do is you tell your child that you're going to get something. You're going to get something. You're going to get something. You're going to get something keep conditioning that behavior and you keep holding that stick in front of their face even if you're the one pulling the strings not allowing it to happen now trump knows damn well that this is exactly what he's doing with nancy pelosi and he's leading her inch by inch by inch closer to the cliff with the carrot in front of her face and little does she know she's the lemming in this situation so if you think Donald Trump just screwed over his base, you need to wake up, slap some cold water on your face, and reevaluate the situation. I'll be back with you tomorrow morning. Thank you for joining me, and I hope this brings some clarity to what's going on. As far as the mainstream media telling you that Trump caved and Nancy Pelosi just won the 15-round boxing match, it didn't happen.
Trump's still our man. He's still on top. God bless and have a good night.